Hello, welcome back. It's another day, another video. I am currently doing some cleaning up in the basement. Let's see. Let me show you kind of what I'm working on now. Um, I got that wall, the accent wall painted now. It's got a base color. I'm currently cleaning up a little bit to get this. I'm trying to move this table over to here. I have actually shot back to the entire basement now and then also mopped it. Uh, you can see this a little bit wet still here drying up. Um, but now the floor is mostly clean. I'm actually going around and chipping away all of the uh, excess drywall mud compound that kind of spilled onto the ground. So it's a bit tedious but it needs to get done so that the floor can be nice and flat and level. What I'm finding is areas like this with liquid nails Contractor applied liquid nails to the back of the uh, sheets of drywall so that they stick a little bit better to the two by fours and don't pull away. That way you get kind of less nail pops. But looks like these guys didn't give a rat's behind about actually, you know, putting this stuff on clean, nor did they clean up very well after themselves. So I'm having to go back around everywhere and chip up all of these little spots that they had drops of liquid nails all over the floor. Because I'm putting LBP flooring down here, this floor has to be perfectly flat. Any imperfection that you have in the floor is going to make the floor uneven and have little waves. So you have to make sure you get all that stuff completely flat. Well, after getting pissed off with that one right there, because it was about that long, on the scale of that is probably about eight or nine inches long and probably three inches wide. So I'm actually going to show you what I've been doing by grinding down these liquid nail remnants and making it a lot easier on myself. This is a belt sander. It's Craftsman. It's a three inch wide by 18 inch long. And this thing has worked like a charm. Um, so let me show you the technique I've been using. I'm no pro with this, I just, this is just what I've been doing. All right, so I've been starting with this. Just start with a scraper to kind of knock down all the really high pieces and kind of cut them loose. This stuff is really hard to get off. All right, now it's time to hit it with the grinder. That's it. All gone. Quick and easy. So if you're struggling with having to remove a bunch of liquid nails from your floor, buy yourself one of these buy yourself one of these sanders. That little spot took less than probably, I don't know, 40 seconds maybe. This little belt sander has been pretty great. See you in the next one.